finding greatest common factor for this problem, the answer is here. And how you get the answer is this way. You break each one of the terms down. Okay, W to the six, Y to the six. And then six is really two times three. Okay, then U to the five, you leave it because U to the five compared to U to the eight is the smaller one. You always break it down to the smaller one, okay? W to the six, this is to the eight, so I'm gonna leave it there. And then Y to the six, that's the first term. Let's box our answers over here. And the other term we have, maybe we can put it down here. The other term we have is 22 u to the 8, w to the 8. Okay, so 22 breaks down is 2 times 11. And then u, instead of writing 8, I'm going to write it into a u to the 5. That's the common one I have it with the other one. Okay. U to the eight is U to the five times U to the three, because on the side here, U to the five times U to the three. If you want to really work it out, it's uh, five U's here. Let me see if I squeezed it all in there for you. Um, and then a three U here. If you count it, you have exactly eight. So a quick way when you next time do this, when you have two that has a base, Instead of counting it, you can just say it's five plus three, which is really eight. Okay. The reason I break it down here is I want to compare what do I have in common with the other one. I'm going to do the same thing for W. W to the six and W to the two. Okay. And that gives me the eight. So the greatest um, common factor, common factor, and then equal to I'm going to pick everything that's common in between the two. I have a two here. Okay, so 2 is common, and then 11 is not a common, 3 is not common. Okay, u to the 5, u to the 5, that's common, u to the 5. I have u to the cube here, but there's nothing there. So w to the 6, I have w to the 6. And then there's w to the 2nd and y to the 6, nothing else common. So here's my greatest common factor. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Have a confident day.